Hi everyone, I'm Jamie and welcome to Joy Homestead. Today I'm standing outside of my main garden to give you a February garden tour. Now everything's pretty much dead, but there's a little bit of something living out here. So first, you can see there is the main garden. It is situated behind uh, our garage, but over here in front of the main garden, I have something going on. So here, future location, of herbs. So these buckets here, where the buckets are, this is going to be the new herb garden. And then this pile, which needs some more leaves and protection, this is my garlic. I planted this garlic back in October and uh, so excited to have that keep going. And then this patch here is the future location for onions. So I'm just going to continue over with this small fencing and put the onions here. Now, on the other side, future location of potato patch so last year I had there's Milo <laughs> last year I had uh, potatoes in those buckets and they did not do very well oh look Iggy decided to come over too so uh, this will be the new potato patch area so we're gonna clear this out put um, some of that green three-foot fencing like this just to keep the dogs out <laughs> <laughs> and now into the main garden we go. So here we are in the main garden. This is not a large growing space. This is a 20 by 24 area we have fenced off. Um, but I can do a whole lot in this area because I use the square foot gardening method. And so here, last year I had pretty much this whole middle section was consumed with tomatoes and beans. Um, tomatoes will still be here in the middle. I'm just going to shift their rows a little bit uh, just for some crop rotation. So the plan for this year is along the fence to have peas and then in an opposite direction going along the garage. That will be, I'm going to try some peanuts down on the far left here. Just a couple peanut plants just to see how they do. Then we're going to have dry beans. And then at the end, I'm going to have celery. And on this end, I'm going to do the same thing. But this whole entire stretch along the fence on the inside of the garden, green beans. So this will be my green bean area because I grow a lot of green beans. Now starting in the back, I plan to have some tomatillo plants in the very back and cucumbers. And then each one of these rows these short rows facing the other way that will be perpendicular to the beans. I'm going to have tomatoes and peppers. So actually the peppers will be back here with oregano and then tomatoes companion planted like that with um, basil. And so the basil will be companion planted here and then with carrots in these rows over here. Now, I do have some hanging planters up top, so I'll put some pretty flowers in there just to attract the bees. On the outside of the garden here, right now I have my trellising and just extra boards and stakes and fencing materials, but here very soon I'm going to turn about a foot and a half out off of the fence there into a flower bed. So along the perimeter of this fence will be nasturtiums, bee balm, and marigolds. And then along the outside of the other side of the fence, I'm going to plant some lavender there. And then here I have a new compost system. I ordered this off of Amazon. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but I need a better way to contain my compost pile. So um, I ordered this, I can open the panels to get in there and turn it. And then it is located in last year's pumpkin patch. So this whole area is where I had pumpkins and watermelon and cantaloupe last year. They are being moved to the other side of the yard this year. So here we are on the opposite side of the garden. So you can see the garden there. And then here along this fence, we did plant two apple trees last year. Not sure how they're going to do this year, but they're still there. But along this fence, going to plant sunflowers. This area here is going to be pumpkins 
and then I'm going to extend squash zucchini butternut squash along this fence. So that's it for the February vegetable garden tour for 2023. I do have a zinnia bed that is currently covered and I also have four green stalks that live on our patio. The green stalks will be making an appearance very soon because that is where I plan to grow spinach and lettuce. So that's just right around the corner. But thank you for coming along with me on this garden tour. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you soon.